and South Florida on the road has their biggest lead. Lob pass, wow! On a baseline commando rush. Who says road trips are tough? The men's team kicks it into high travel gear. He's been able to do everything here tonight. Fighting, banging! And they'll tell us about the coach that makes it possible. He definitely knows what's going on. He's been around at least 20 pros in the last four years. And everything that we do, there's a reason why. The women's team is still ranked and taking no prisoners. The bottom line is you got to go out and earn it every single day, and that'll help you do it. Loxa knocking down a three. Yet the ladies have time in their hectic schedules to give back to the community. Every parent, you know, concern is when my child goes to college, you know, how are they going to be taken care of? And this is part of, you know, those parents getting to see their kids giving back. So it's very important. We really pride, pride ourselves in, in, like I said, preparing kids for life after USF. <laughs> Excuse me. And it's all happening in the gorgeous city by the bay. Oh, it's amazing. It's like a tropical type of feel. The weather's really nice every day. It's beautiful here in another way that it's back home. This week on USF Basketball, Run with the Bulls. Big crowd. This is the best student section I have seen. They are representing. Other oh, three. Monster two-handed dunk over the entire middle. Yes. Come all the way back. Four, three. Oh, this is a good South Florida team. USA. Great facilities, great leadership. One of the things that for, for us as a staff to the things that we were able to communicate to the kids that we've been able to sign here. It's uh, easy when you talk about the community, when you talk about the great town of Tampa, a town that loves their sports, when you talk about a great university that we have and everything, all the uh, opportunities and all the majors that we have to sell here, on top of the fact that they have an opportunity to come and at the start of what we're trying to build here and giving them an opportunity to come in and affect the program the way they can. Lob pass, wow! On a baseline commando rush. Bo Ziegler from McMurray. My vision for this program is to try to be as consistent as we can be in everything that we do from academics to how we affect the community to having success on the court. And they take down the Houston Cougars. And trying to take USF up to places that they've never been. Jamal McMurray can end the drought with a long range three over Nick Moore. That was from the S. USF basketball run with the Bulls is brought to you by Kane's Furniture, proud sponsor of the USF Bulls. Canes, quality so good, it's guaranteed for life. And by Tampa General Hospital, trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. Let's go Bulls! Let's go Bulls! Let's Jose Fernandez, season his 16th season. His team in the top 15 nationally for the first time this week. And really helps to show where the program is nationally, but he feels like the true benchmark for success is locking down that four or five seed in the NCAA tournament. This is a team that went to the tournament 
last year, in 2013, in 2006, but they just don't want to go anymore, Sue. It's now about going and staying a while. The bottom line is you got to go out and earn it every single day, and that'll help you do it. Loxa knocking down a three. Kitty Loxa has been helping USF earn it every day. After a loss to Memphis, she led the charge against in-state rival Central Florida in an important bounce back game for the Bulls. They are tested regularly these days, having started the week ranked number 15. A quick release once again by the freshman Loxa, and she is something special to watch. That's what I mean by just able to score, rise up over people and score. Rising up not only from a loss, but a sluggish first quarter against UCF. The Bulls got better as the game went on with Courtney Williams and Laura Ferreira combining with Loxa for 63 points. Loxa hitting seven threes. Outside shot up for Loxa, teed it up and put it down. Quick on the trigger yet again, knocking down the three-pointer. And it has just been a day for the freshman. You know, with Jenkins going out, it does give younger players, like Loxa maybe, the opportunity to shine. But make no mistake, this was a team win with 13 players seeing action the final 10 minutes. An experienced coach getting experience for his bench. The next challenge would be back at the Sun Dome with Houston paying a visit. Williams with the rebound. Out and pushing down the left side of the court. Hesitates for a moment, crosses over, still dribbling, rises, shoots, and swishes. Chris ball movement, tic-tac-toe passing. And here's Courtney into the paint, right elbow, fires, swish. The second leading scorer in program history. Again, the Bulls started slowly, but Courtney Williams would help them change that. By the time this game was over, she would be fifth in the country in field goals made for the season. More important, the Bulls continued their home dominance having lost just once in the Sun Dome all season. They pulled away from Houston, and since their loss to Memphis had won two games by an average of 31 and a half points. A loss isn't the end of the world, especially when a team learns from it and is motivated by it. The lopsided win over Houston again allowed Coach Fernandez to show off and build team depth. Good to see that from Wario, but crashing off of the glass. Kitty Aloxa, the American Athletic Conference Freshman of the Week, combined with Courtney Williams for 40 points. The two were way too much for the Cougars to handle. Now they and the rest of the Bulls were back on the road to face SMU. Welcome to Dallas, Texas. A beautiful day in the Metroplex. You're watching The American on ESPN. And on the campus of Southern Methodist University inside of Moody Coliseum, number 20, South Florida. Each game brings its own set of challenges, and the Bulls would again have to prove themselves. Laura Ferreira joined Alicia Jenkins on the bench with an injury. To make things even more difficult, Courtney Williams got into some early foul trouble and had to sit for a while. But the Bulls have a next player up mentality, and it helped that Kitty Loxa was working on her second straight Freshman of the Week award. Pure shot for Loxa, that's what she does best. Eventually, Williams did get back into the game and led by example. Coach Fernandez was brilliant, moving his lineup around like a skilled chess player, reaping the benefits of getting subs valuable playing time earlier in the season. This is where she is deadly. Nice little shake and bake action. For the third straight game, the Bulls held the opposition under 50 points. It was their third season sweep in the conference. All of this getting more difficult as they climbed the attention ladder in the polls with a national television audience peering in. All part of the growth process as they marched toward the NCAA tournament. I think it's real fast. The weather's really nice every day. It's beautiful here in another way than it is back home. Oh, it's amazing. It's like a tropical type of feel. To USA, I love seeing those big buildings. We don't have those in Spain. You have a lot of different cultures here. You know, the people are nice. Cool place to be young though. Like if you go to Ybor City, go to downtown, you can you definitely gonna have fun. It 
it's so different from back home. Palm trees, small lakes, all of it is it's so different. It's actually a big city. Downtown, you know, uptown, is a place called New Tampa. I, I just love it, like the, the, the atmosphere here. It's, it's amazing. Division I hoops are not for everybody. While talent and ability may get you through the door, it takes perseverance and determination to excel. Coaches and teammates supporting and pushing each other, and the ability to work through the huddles, see past the fatigue, and believe in your program. There will be long days, but hustle, game planning, and a few extra shots after each practice will pay off. Nice drive and a finish by Cousins with the left hand. Orlando Antigua is a great guy, and uh, I think he's done a good job of keeping them together. South Florida has just the one guard, and he's a good one in McMurray, but they have one of the biggest lineups in the entire country. Cousins and Ruben Guerrero are both 6'11", and they can run the floors. McMurray wide open. Pumps in a three, and South Florida on the road has their biggest lead. Log pass, wow! On a baseline commando rush. Bo Ziegler from McMurray. Even though the Bulls were down in numbers, only six scholarship players and just seven active players on the bench, Coach Lintigua challenged them to out-hustle, out-push, and out-rebound Houston. And they did, with highlight reel performances. Nunez starts, stops, oh, with a two-hand flush! <laughs> and what little momentum Houston had is long gone. Gray, the runner won't go. Rebounding has been dominated by South Florida. Mario to McMurray, and he drains a three. 18-footer falling away. Oh, man. Wow. What a shot. Perhaps no one on the roster wants to make the program elite or personifies USF's desire to win more than true freshman Jamal McMurray. Opportunity presented him minutes. He transformed them into milestones. Now a leader on the team and a driving force behind victories, he was named the Conference Rookie of the Week. McMurray on the break, gives it up, and that will do it. South Florida with a stunning effort on the road will get their first win in the American, and they take down the Houston Cougars at Houston. Great battle, great battle, great battle. Everybody was encouraging. Everybody was giving each other life, right? Yes, sir. That's how you continue to work. We haven't stopped working. We got to continue to work, keep building. The winning will happen if we continue to play that way. Battle. Scrapping, making free throws, executing, scrap, on the floor, loose balls, fighting, banging. That's fun, ain't it? Yes, sir. When you win it, is. let's go. Hey, go. The USF faithful were no longer wondering about first conference wins or first road wins. They were now talking about back-to-back -back wins on the road in hostile environments. And it was a true possibility made possible by the fight Coach Antigua inspired in his squad. Seven on the shot clock. Shot nicely done. As it's going to work here again. Koski gets his own board and slaps it home. Get the big guy the ball. He can score, plus he can pass, plus he can rebound like he showed us right there. If I'm USF, I'm going to give him touches because he's hard to stop. With his mother and brother, NBA star DeMarcus Cousins in the stands, Jaleel Cousins was having a career night, igniting his own game and urging his teammates to follow. Cousins baseline, and he's been able to do everything here tonight, the senior. Shot from the corner, and it is good. Jamal McMurray with another bucket. They played just seven here today. Harris drives the baseline in a big block. Wow. 
Great block. I like this possession here. Smart offense by USF. Murray from way outside. And wow. Wow. He hit one last time and he hit another one. And this was from outside, big well, time. He's got that scores mentality. He's got that confidence. He's got that swagger. The swagger is shared by the team. And it will now be on them and the coaches to make these victories, the highlights, the honors, and take them beyond a single game or win streak and turn them into a consistent performance and season. They were pushing through the injuries, through youth and the short bench to make something special happen, to make this program what they want it to be. Even though there will be more hurdles and challenges, they are eager to play and look forward to the opportunities to win. I think when you're, when you're talking about Orlando, you're talking about passion. You're talking about commitment. I think when I first met him and he walked into the room, I remember how he owned it. And, and, and really realizing that his passion for not only the game of basketball, but for young people was extraordinary. And then as you learn his story and everything he's been through um, and overcome to, to get to this place he is today, um, it was someone I knew right away that I wanted to partner with. Understand this. It's not going to be easy. You understand that? Yes, sir. sir. It's going to be a fight. So let's fight. Right, you look at Orlando Antigua. Six seasons as an assistant coach under John Calipari. Went to three Final Fours. Orlando Antigua in his second season, a big rebuilding job, came in last year and had only three players returning. Ucho, I will say he's an energetic guy. He's, I mean, you can see the life inside him. Very honest, very passionate, very hardworking. You can see he really cares for us. He will never steer you wrong. He's very laid back. He's very, he's very observant. He observes everything. I know he played at Pitt, one of the best three-point shooters there. Yeah, I know he was a hard and glow trotter. I mean, it was funny when I first heard it because I can't see him doing any of that stuff. But I mean, hey, everybody has their own hustle. He was at Memphis for a few years. Was at Pittsburgh. He was at Kentucky also, and he was their top recruiter. I've been fortunate to be around some great coaches that coached me and that I worked alongside. I think probably two of the best in uh, Hall of Fame coaches, James Dixon and Cal. He knows what, he definitely knows what's going on. He's been around at least 20 pros in the last four years. I mean, it's incredible. I, it's, I don't know, the words can't describe how, how, how helpful that is. He's been able to help incredible pros through the years. In everything that we do, there's a reason why. Sometimes it's overwhelming, you know, the stuff that he knows. He, he breaks some stuff down to you. He's like, man, you really, you really used to do that stuff too, so I trust you. As you're building a program to try to be able to compete and get on that stage and take USF to, to heights it's never been to, you know, um, it's another reminder that it can be done. He's made me better because he knows what mistakes I'm going to make. He knows the type of player I am. He already has seen players do the same thing that I've done. I mean, it's just a blessing. I try to take in as much as possible. He knows how to communicate with us, with the players. Competing through it and pushing through your comfort levels. He knows that. Sometimes it gets hard for the player, and he know how to handle it. I think it's important when uh, you can step away from the court, spend a little quality time, and uh, just let everybody let their guard down a little bit and, and, and get a chance to appreciate one another. He's good at what he does. Uh, he, he has a good reputation behind him, and I never heard anything negative. Now, all of you guys work your tails off. Good job, right. so Together on three, man. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Together. Come on. Come on. You got it. This segment of USF Basketball Run with the Bulls is brought to you by Kane's Furniture, proud sponsor of the USF Bulls. Kane's quality, so good, it's guaranteed for life. Excuse me. service. We 
like to get out into the community and um, and mingle for six weeks. They'll have wheelchair basketball for some of the local children, and we're just coming here to uh, play basketball with them. Well, I, think, I think we have some competitive teammates here on the uh, USF women's team, but everybody's enjoying themselves, and that's what it's all about. very exciting to see these young people out here and our women's team, you know, giving back to these kids. It's, it's very important because, you know, after basketball, our women's team should be instilled with community, community service. We really pride, pride ourselves in, in, like I said, preparing kids for life after USF. There's things outside of basketball, and I think it's important for them to learn that. And I think getting out like we're doing and doing this and giving back to the community that supports them so much is the reason why they do these things. And it's, it's very important. Every parent, you know, concern is when my child goes to college, you know, how are they going to be taken care of? And this is part of, you know, those parents getting to see their kids giving back. So it's very important, it's very important for families and, the, and these kids' families that we're, we're, you know, instilling these values to. I think the young people love to see them here, but they love young children. And as much that they can make them smile, it makes them smile as well. There's other things outside of basketball, and this gives them a chance to, to see that. They have a lot to, to, to be thankful for. The power of giving and the power of giving back is so powerful, and uh, I think I think they really, really enjoy it. Okay, we out here. We want it all right now. Squat, 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 squat. squat, 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 squat. USF Basketball Run with the Bulls has been brought to you by Canes Furniture, proud sponsor of the USF Bulls. Canes, quality so good, it's guaranteed for life. And by Tampa General Hospital, trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care.